Hello friends and welcome back to another autumn food prep video. I really loved and enjoyed making the last one so I thought I'd make another one for you. Before I start my food prep I always have a quiet moment with some coffee because you know I love my coffee very much. I really love this beautiful milk jug. My friend actually made it for me and I'll link it in the description if you are interested in checking out the other stuff that he does. So I'm starting off with doing some pickled red onions. There are lots of onions about at the moment and red onion is just one of my absolute favorites. I love to put it on things like salad and curries and poke bowls and things like that. So I'm just going to be preparing a lot for this week's pickling. As you can see I'm saving all the skins as well because we're also going to be making a vegetable stock from scratch today. To make the pickling brine I'm just using some water and some apple cider vinegar. I like my red onions slightly sweet, so I'm adding double the amount of sugar to the amount of salt. And this just makes a really nice and sweet but not too overpowering pickle brine. I have another video for this that actually I've done on quick pickles so I'll leave it in the description below if you want to check out a exclusive video and also for the recipe as well. The next thing I'm going to be doing is pickling some carrots. This is something my boyfriend used to do and I absolutely loved it. So I'm just going to pickle them with some garlic and some jalapenos. Usually I don't peel my carrots because I want to save on waste and I just wash them instead. But today I wash them but I'm peeling them so that I can use them in my vegetable stock. Carrots add such a great flavour and the peels are absolutely valuable. The great thing about adding garlic and jalapeno is them pickled as well are completely delicious. So just because they make the pickling a little bit spicy doesn't mean that you can't eat them as well. And then I just put them in a jar and fill them all up with all the good stuff I've just prepared. There's no good way to put carrots into these jars, so I just basically did my best and squished them down once I put the liquid in. The liquid is just a really simple one of water, white vinegar and salt this time. The best thing about these pickles is that I just put them in the fridge and then they last for ages and ages. It just depends on how pickled you like them. They're ready definitely within a few hours, but I like to keep them for at least 24 hours and then for a little bit longer. As a little bit of a break, I went for a walk to check on the figs that are cooking away nicely on their leaves. They're not ready yet, but it's such a joy to see them growing. I love figs so, so, so much. Hello. 
So here my mum is actually making a water butt out of an old whiskey barrel and she's just hammering in the tap so that when the rainfall comes we can use that water for the plants and to harvest it and reuse it to make sure that we're trying to get as much out of the water that comes down as possible. Now it is definitely apple season and my parents find it quite hard because I have so many apple trees to harvest all the apples so I went round and helped them to take a lot of them off the trees before they started to rot. Apples are just so versatile and after picking all these off I decided to make two different recipes with them. So the first recipe I'm making is braised red cabbage. This is something my mum used to make a lot as we were growing up and it's just, ugh, so delicious. As I'm peeling the apples, I'm gonna be using these skins as well. So I just throw everything into that pot that I put the other stuff into to make that delicious vegetable stock. I'm also going to be saving the cores this time as well because I'm going to be making another batch of apple cider vinegar. Making braised red cabbage is super simple. You just cook up some onion, so I had some red onion left over, and then as soon as that gets soft you add in the red cabbage and the apple. The apple gives it a little bit of sweetness so you don't have to add in anything else. You let it soften for about five minutes, just cooking away. It looks like it's overflowing, but it's it's gonna be fine. And then you add in some red wine vinegar. Some people use sherry vinegar, but we just use what we have. I use some raisins and some currants, and then I cooked it down for about an hour. And that's that's pretty much it. You can add in salt and pepper. I did this later on when everything had melted down a bit, but I will leave another recipe in the description if you wanna try it out. It's so good with vegetarian sausages and mashed potato, it's the perfect autumn sort of winter meal. Once it was ready, I just went and put it in a cool spot to cool down before we putting it into containers to keep. Now, I just wanted to prepare the vegetable stock, so I'm just adding some extra celery that was about to go off some red peppercorns, but that's just because we didn't have any black peppercorns, and some salt. Placing enough water to cover all the vegetables, and I put it on for about an hour, maybe a bit longer. Keep tasting it as it goes, just to taste what it, what it tastes like, basically. And then you can take it off whenever it feels good to you. My stock was quite ready brown and it's because I had so many red onions and a bit of red cabbage in there. But usually it comes out a really nice sort of golden colour. You can see it's a pretty dark purple here, but it tasted good. And now we're going to have a lot of vegetable stock for making some delicious things. So this is my apple cider vinegar I made in my last video and it's ready to strain and put that liquid in another pot to keep fermenting and become apple cider vinegar. Already it tastes and smells pretty amazing, but it's not vinegary yet. So we're gonna be making some more today with the rest of those apple peels and cores.
If you've never had stewed apples, it's the most perfect topping for porridge or to have with some plant-based yogurt, or to be honest, just on its own. This is one of my absolute favorite things to make and it's just a really relaxing activity to peel and core all of these apples. I saved all the cores and all the peelings to go to make that second batch of apple cider vinegar. So nothing has to go to waste. And even Took got to have a few apple cores. She's an apple fiend. She sat there for almost the whole time I made those apples. I just put those apples in a nice big pot and filled with water and um, all that water that they're sitting in I reused for the vegetable bed. I try and reduce as much water wastage as possible especially when I have to use quite a lot. My mum's been growing these Swedes ever since March where we first went into lockdown. It's pretty amazing to see how they turned out after planting them from seed and it's pretty magical when you get to pull them out of the ground. As you can see, Tut likes the leaves. She's, she's a real fruit and veggie eater. So with the apples, I just added in about half the pot of water, a cinnamon stick and some mixed spice. And honestly, it smelled like Christmas. It's one of my absolute favorite things. And as it was cooking along, my dad kept coming past and saying, mm, it smells so good. Once it kind of melts down, I guess, and all the apples become super super broken down the water's gone it's pretty much ready to go for dinner we just had a little curry with some romanesco cauliflower because that's what's in season right now and put the apples aside to cool down overnight When the apples cool down, we can start portioning them out into different pots to freeze or to keep in the fridge. I like to split them up because I like to have some ready to go for my breakfast, but also I wanna make an apple and blackberry crumble next week. So I'm putting some of this in the freezer so that it's just ready to go. And I will definitely share that video with you when I come to make those. Again, autumn is just my absolute favorite time of year. These colors are incredible. The flavors are amazing and I just, I love making these videos. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this and if you missed my last one, I will link it down below so you guys can go and check that out. If you love autumn as much as me, let me know what your favorite foods are down below. So we made some new apple cider vinegar, some braised red cabbage, some stewed apples, some vegetable stock and some pickled veggies. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.